Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emmy, and I am a single mom of three working on a budgeting and planning journey. You guys, today is the first time I'm doing a cash planning video. So this is gonna be interesting. I want you guys to see how I set up my money, how I plan for the week, for my cash stuffings and everything. Also, I have a new um, savings challenge binder that I wanna show you guys. And we're gonna um, set that up too so let's do that first actually before we get into the cash planning so um if you guys know elisha over at hands and bands she had a huge sale um i think it was like last month and she was selling a ton of her products because she was closing her etsy shop like for good so i took advantage and got some things and i wanted to set that up with you guys so I just got this challenge. It's the $1,000 savings challenge. So it's pretty much separated into 10 different like scratch off challenges for $100 each. So I'm going to go ahead and put one in each envelope. And then I'm also adding in here my Larry Bucks challenge and my Larry Box challenge. This little box, which I think she also had that one for sale too, which is awesome. And then we're stuffing my Christmas one too. So a lot going on. So let's go ahead and set this up first. I'm gonna go ahead and put these two, the Larry Box and the Larry Bucks, I'm gonna put them in the back like so. Now you guys, I'm not really, I'm gonna be honest. I am not really a fan of zipper envelopes. I hate them. <laughs> I really do hate them, but I don't have any of my envelopes right now. So we're just gonna have to deal with it and just, you know, uh, just do it for now whatever so we're just gonna go ahead and use these for now until i can get mine um until i can make some for this for this binder i kind of want to make some to match the ones that are already here like these yellow ones so uh, but you know it takes time to make envelopes and it's time i don't really have right this second so these ones are gonna have to do okay so we got that in there see what i you know, this just doesn't, it's like just, I just, I'm not a fan. Okay. <laughs> All right. So first things first, before we plan the challenge money, because what I like to do obviously is put money in my sinking funds, my future funds first. So what I did was I went through and I wrote down all the categories for all my binders. Okay. All the ones that I'm stuffing this week. So I'm going to go through and mark off how much money, and then we're going to see how much we have left to put in the savings challenges. So I know that I budgeted 40 for groceries and 40 for gas, right? So we're starting off with 680. So we're gonna take away the 80. Then for my brother, I give him 150 a week for watching the kids. Then we're gonna do, all right, so, so family fun, I like to put 10. I sort of have like a fixed amount that I normally put each time. So like, for example, my kids get $5 every week. So I got three kids. So Elisa, Eric, and Emmanuel. So that's 15. And then I also put five for their birthdays. All their birthdays are like back to back in February, March, and April. So it kind of works out. So I like to save for that. Um, my daughter's braces, I'm doing 25 a week because I got to pay 100 a month for that. Then daycare, we're gonna go ahead and put 10. Clothes, they don't really need clothes right now. Also like back to school, uniforms. I already took care of school supplies and uniforms. That's already done for. Haircut, my son needs a haircut. So I'm trying to save, I'm trying to hold off from cutting his hair until school starts. And that haircut is usually like $35. So I wanna do what did I just do? I'm not putting 40, I'm putting 20. Hold on. I'm gonna put 20 this week, 20 next week, and then that should be enough. So let me do this again, it's 20, okay? And then school fees, we're gonna go ahead and put 10. So I have to pay, um, my kids go to charter school. So I have to pay, 
it's usually you either do volunteer hours. So because I have two kids, it's 30 hours a, uh, for the year, or you can do that in money. So for every $10 you spend, you get a, you get one hour. So essentially it's $300. So I'm going to go and start putting $10, um, to start. All right. So for home also, I'm going to put 10 Sam's club. I like to put 20. Self-care, I'm just going to put five. Um, clothes, I'm not buying any clothes right now either. Health, I don't really need anything. Dental, I'm going to go ahead and put like 10 in here because I am getting some dental work done and I feel like I'm going to need pain meds. <laughs> so I want to put that in there because I am getting my wisdom teeth pulled. So it's fun times. Um, glasses, I don't need anything right now for glasses. And gifts... I don't think we have any birthdays coming up or anything. Card maintenance, I'm going to put 20. Car registration, I'm going to put 5. I'm actually like, I have, um, I paid for like a two-year registration. So I want to be good for a while. But, you know, it's like $70, $75, something like that to renew for two years. So I'm going to have, going to hit that goal pretty quickly. And then extra debt, I'm going to just put 20. Okay. And then moving on to the baby. Um, I like to put five in each one. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So we can see where we're at. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So minus 35. All right. So that leaves me with 220 that I can put in my savings challenges. Oh, that's so much fun. Okay. Now these savings challenges, like I said, this one, this box is for Christmas. And then all of these are pretty much paying off debt. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. I think this box, I wanted to save for my 40th birthday. So that's what this one is for. So all of these scratch offs, we're gonna scratch them ahead of time. That way we know how much, you know, cause those are unpredictable. So we're going to do all the scratch-offs first, and then we'll see how much we have to put in our Christmas one. So let's scratch off. Let's see. Hmm. Let's start from the back. So the Larry Bucks. We got Larry Bucks, and let me see which one I have left. Um, so all the ones that are not checked are the ones that I have left. So let's do a high number. Let's do a 20. Let's put 20 in this one. So we're going to mark that off there. And then I'll put the sticker when I go to stuff it. That way we're good. There. Okay. And then the Larry box. Let's do that one. Let's see what this one. Again, unpredictable. So we'll see. Let's see what we get. Okay, not bad. Ten bucks. Shaking this whole table right now. <laughs> All right, ten bucks is not bad. So we're gonna go ahead and put ten dollars there. I'm gonna leave this out actually because I needed to scratch off all of these other ones. So we got ten dollars in the Larry box. Perfect. So let's start deducting. So we got 220 to work with. So we're going to subtract 20 for the Larry Bucks and 10 for the Larry Box. So that leaves us with 190. Now, I don't think I'm going to scratch all of these, but we can. I'm trying to think. Let's let's just see what we let's just see what they look like, because I have no idea. This one's to save 50 bucks. So let's just scratch one of these. Oh, look, $10 there. All right, so this is the Larry. $10. And then all of these, I guess, I don't know. Should I number them like 1 through 10 so I know what's what? I should, right? Okay, so we're just going to do 
Number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, if they are too high, then I'm not gonna do more than. Let's just see what the. Let's just see, because I would like to put like fifty dollars in my Christmas. So, <laughs> of course, okay, ten dollars in the first one, and let's just put here number one. So, okay. this one, this is number two. Let's see. Ooh, that is high. Holy crap. All right, minus 20 there. <laughs> 20. Oh my goodness. Okay. We're not going to be able to get through too many of these, I'll tell you right now. Not if they're all 20 bucks. All right, this one is number three. Wait, this was 20. Let's go over here. Another 20. Oh my God. <laughs> This is funny. Okay, another twenty there. I'm I'm hitting all the twenties. <laughs> all right, let's see. Okay, ten. Oops. This is number four. We got 110. Let's just do five of them. How's that? Let's just do five of them. So this is number five. Okay, so another ten dollars. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. So we with a hundred dollars. So let's do some of the Christmas ones and then we'll see how much we get through Christmas and then we can come back. Oh my goodness. Okay. So for the Christmas one, let me explain. Um, so I'm doing the 100 envelopes for the Christmas. However, instead of putting the actual amount that's in on the envelope, I'm adding the digits together. So I saw that on Erica's channel over black and blue. I saw her do that on one of her challenges, so I was like, oh, that's actually a good idea. So it totals out to be $901 when you add them all up. So, so let's see. All right, so let's put down here Christmas. And let's go through, let's just grab a bunch. All right. So we could do 46, that's $10. We can do 57, 57 is $12. We can do 63. That's nine dollars. Okay, and then let's go leave some of these higher ones. All right, let's do eighty-eight. That's sixteen. Um, let's do ninety-three. That's 12. Um, <laughs> I don't think I've ever finished a 100 envelope challenge, you guys. Oh, you know what? I have the other one. All right, so let's just do these because I want to put this 41 in my other 100 envelope. Okay. So we have these five numbers. So that's 
We're gonna put them here on the side. What I'd like to do is put it here on the side along with the tracker. So the tracker will color, the, color it in as we fill up the envelope. Perfect. Yes. All right, so Christmas is done. Okay, so we'll put that aside. I'm actually not gonna scratch off any more in here so we can put this away as well. Okay. And then, battery box, put my scratch offs in there. Okay, now, this other 100 envelope. So I bought this binder on Amazon. I know you guys have seen everybody, 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 everywhere <laughs> um, doing this one. So I want to do, I got this dashboard from the Aesthetic Dollar. I feel like it fits so perfectly in here, it's great. So let's fill out some of these. Since I have $41, I might as well do the $1, right? So let's go over here. So, so let's just do here the 100 envelope. All right, so we're gonna do the one, just so we can get rid of this $1. And then we have 40 bucks. So I'm thinking, I mean, we can just keep it simple and do like 10 and 30. Because I can't do two 20s, obviously. So it has to be two different numbers. So let's just do 10 for $10. And then we can do number 30. Perfect. And then that equals 40 bucks. Awesome. All right, cool. So that's where we're at. So now, once I have all the numbers written down, final step is to determine what denominations I want. So I like to keep it simple and I like to keep the most basic denominations. So um, let's see, groceries for 40, we're gonna do 220. So then I go through and add these all up and total them down here. So we got, okay. And then these I like to just bring them over here. So that way I have it all on the same page. We got one, one, nine, five, nine. Okay. And then we count on this side. So we have, so I just like to do the math down here. Oh, these are one and one. So we got 100, we got 50, um, 13 times, 20 is 260 16 times 10 is 160 18 ah, 18 times 5 is 90 and then we got 10 singles so now when i add these up it should equal 680 let's cross our fingers 100 plus 50 plus 260 plus 160, plus 90, plus 10. Oh no. Short 10 somewhere. Hold on, let me check real quick. Okay, so I did all the math and I'm actually missing $10 in the math. So I'm gonna add one more 10 here for Christmas. And let's see if we could find a 10. So if we add the digits, uh, three, four, and six. Well, we could do 46. Is that one of them? No, we already did that. Uh, six and four, 64. Okay, we could find 64. Let's see if we could find 64. There it is, perfect. So 64, we're gonna add that back here. And then we're gonna put number 64 here and then add a $10 bill over here. So I'll actually put this at 17. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 
so this is 170. So now this should add up. 100 plus 50 plus 260 plus 170 plus 90 plus 10. Perfect. 680. 680. Awesome. So now um, I'm going to get one of my cash trackers. I mean, my <laughs> cash trackers. One of these breakdown slips that I made. And we're gonna write in these numbers here. So that way when I go to the bank, I just hand this to them and they give me the denominations I need. So we're gonna need $100 bill, $150 bill, $13, $20 bills, $17, $10 bills, 18 fives and 10 singles. So let's see. Eighteen times five is ninety. This is ten. So one last time, just for good measure, two sixty plus one seventy plus ninety. Perfect. Six eighty. And that is it. Yes. So now what I do, I have my bank bag. I got this little bag from Erica over at Black and Blue. I will link her channel down below. I put the paper clip because I usually um, clip my license to this when they ask me for it. And there we go. Perfect. And that's how I do my cash planning. So <laughs> if you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments. If you are new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and push that bell so you're notified of every upload. Also, um, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Um, I think I want to do these more often. This was kind of fun. I like doing this on the camera. So. Um, so yeah, that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you on the next video. Bye.